swamp deer Cervus duvasalai duvasalai also known as the barasinga because of its antlers having 12 points lives in the swampy grasslands and flood plains of india it mainly eats grasses and remains close to water at all the times swamp deer is listed as vulnerable by iucn's survey specialist group two races of swamp deer are found in india the hard pen ground swamp deer with smaller well knit hooves found in kanha national park in madhya pradesh while second is found in assam which is different based on morphometric variation in subspecies of swamp deer and is named as sarvas ranjit singh hai in dudhwa tiger reserve along with kishanpur wildlife sanctuary a satellite core forms one of the major stronghold of the swamp deer with a population of 1200 plus along the bank of ganga till hastinapur sanctuary several small pockets have remnant population of swamp deer with insecure future jhilmil jhil conservation reserve spread in an area of 3800 hectares is located between haridwar and najibabad highway on the left bank of the river ganga to the south of chidiyapur range of haridwar forest division in uttaranchal it is also connected to river ganga and is surrounded by reserve forest of chidiyapur range the jhilmil jhil area is located at the junction of the bhabar and the tarai formations extending up to ganges the flood plains of the ganges are characterized by deep sandy loam soils varying from fine sand to clay loam ganga flood canal passes through the northern side of the conservation reserve the natural habitat of the swamp deer in uttaranchal lies as a thin strip of the rai formation that has been the object of intensive cultivation and habitation due to its high productivity and abundant water very few islands of natural habitat remain today in the flood plain of river ganga a major portion of the grasslands was also taken up for eucalyptus plantation by the forest department consequently highly fragmented sections of swamp deer habitat remain few and far between and jhilmil jhil happens to be the last refuge for this magnificent and highly endangered species as also for the tarai ecosystem in uttaranchal rasiyabad one of the oldest forest rest houses in the tarai belt which was built in the year 1889 by the britishers the forest rest house resembles a railway station in the backyard of the rest house one tiger was shot famous decoy sultana was also killed near the forest rest house the jhilmil jhil conservation reserve falls within chidiyapur range and includes compartment of nauwala amsot and ganga the jhil is flanked by tatpur village to the west having about 130 families of farmers living in an area of 303 hectares the villagers largely cultivate sugarcane wheat and paddy this area is inundated during four months of the monsoon and farmers get limited months for active cultivation the local villagers are settled here since 1950s most of them are migrants from punjab himachal pradesh and garhwal fortunately the local villagers around jhilmil jhil are vegetarian 
and followers of Sanatan Dharma. These villagers strongly support conservation of swamp deer in Jilmil Jil. Under past forestry practices, eucalyptus plantations were raised and some of the land was given on lease to the private party for limited period to raise certain prescribed plants. In addition, nine Gujar families live around the Chil and use the surrounds of the Chil for grazing. Currently, around Jilmil Chil, more than 1500 buffalo and cow graze on daily basis. Water flows from different rivulets passing through the open field into the chil. Gujas and their cattle regularly use the Jilmil chil. Water is contaminated with organic material which directly flows into the Jilmil chil. The area has the dominance of typha and phragmitis in the main swamp of the Chil, a typical upper Gangetic floodplain habitat. Surrounding areas of Chilmil Chil, a few grassy glades dominated by Cynodon and Imperata forms the regular grazing ground for domestic livestock and swamp deers. The margin of the swamp has mixed woodland characterized by miscellaneous tree species like ficus, Enogaisis, Strebulus, Adena, Acacia, Dalbergia, and Zizifus. Around 72 species of aquatic, semi aquatic, and a variety of plants are found in this area that have been listed. This list may have more addition of plants after a systematic survey of the area is undertaken. Jilmil Jil receives water from the northerly formation of the Shivaliks of Chidiapur range or even further beyond as underground streams of Choyas as well as from the floods of River Ganga. The central part of the reserve is a wetland and part of the area gets submerged during the monsoon months. A number of small rivulets emerge from the woodland and discharge into Jilmil Jil, which finally drain into the river Ganges. The area is rich in faunal diversity considering the presence of all the five deer species along with migratory herds of elephants during sugarcane season. Nilgai, leopard and tiger are also reported in this area. The shallow water with swampy habitat in Jilmil Jil also attracts a variety of waterfowls and more than 160 bird species, both migratory and resident birds, have been recorded. Raptors such as marsh harrier, Egyptian vulture, honey buzzards and osprey have been sighted around the Jilmil Jil. The forest edge around Jilmil Jil is also extremely rich in herpetofauna, especially pythons. Another striking feature of the area is the presence of very high concentration of honeybees with high reproduction of honey. It is interesting to see large flocks of Brahmini ducks in the cultivation around Jilmil Jil roaming without any fear of the presence of people around. The behavior of the birds shows that they feel safe here possibly because of the conservation friendly attitude of the local people towards wild animals. 
On 1st February 2005, Jilmil Jhil area was visited by Dr. S.P. Sinha and Shri Shrikant Chandola, Chief Wildlife Warden Uttaranchal, and they sighted 34 swamp deer in the open patch of grassland of Jilmil Jhil area. Nine adult stags along with doe and first deer fawn were seen. Swamp deer antlers were also collected as evidence. Before this sighting, nobody had reported the presence of such a large herd of swamp deer in the Jilmil Chil area. From time to time, swamp deer population is monitored and a recent count of swamp deer shows presence of 80 plus and another 10 male stags which are in velvet and try to hide in the side of the grassland and remain in the open patches. Another interesting feature is that herd of swamp deer remain in the grassland and in the open patches during cloudy day when temperature increases during sunny days they come out in the open area and graze in the midday. During this time most of the grazing cattle comes back into the shade or move into the nearby forest. Some of the plant species that are preferred by the swamp deer are On 6 February 2005, Srinath Prabhat, Honorable Minister of Forest and Urban Development, Government of Uttaranchal, also visited the area and saw the swamp deer. He later interacted with the local villagers to discuss about the creation of a conservation reserve and the participation in conservation activities. Finally, on 14th August, Honorable President of India, Professor APJ Abdul Kalam, declared Chilmil Jheel and Asan Baraj as conservation reserves in Uttaranchal. I am indeed delighted to participate in the dedication uh, function of uh, new conservation reserves of Uttaranchal. My greeting to the Forest Department of Government of Uttaranchal and the members of Asan Wetland and Jilmen Chief Conservation Reserve. I am happy to know how Uttaranchal is the first state creating a conservation uh, reserve with the intention of evolving local community in conservation action. Jilmil Jhil is one of the first conservation reserves in the country. Both the conservation reserves, Jilmil Jhil and Asan, are located in the state of Uttaranchal. For long-term conservation of the swamp deer and its habitat, certain measures such as protection, survey, demarcation, habitat management, research, monitoring and coordination, conservation education, training, interpretation and extension and development of the forest rest house would be undertaken. <laughs>